good early morning, my fellow anglers or angler watchers. Um, you know, today I was on my way down here and I left earlier than normal because I'm fishing in the river. I'm gonna fish for some crappie today. I've been wanting to crappie fish. It's really not, you know, optimal time yet, but I, I wanna go. But anyway, I was passing all these people. And I mean, not the people going to work, not the people that wait till, you know, they work at nine and they leave at 8.30. No, I'm talking about the people that get up at six o'clock in the morning and leave the real workers. Real, you know who you are the ones that leave at, at six o'clock and six thirty is that those are the people that were driving by me and the, they would just look at me like oh oh that guy's going fishing but you know what because <laughs> I, I was the, i left at six and six o'clock and six so let's catch some fish today let's i don't know what that has to do with fishing i don't know i don't know i don't know what i'm doing uh hopefully I know enough about fishing to catch some crappie today. How about that? Let's do that. Let's turn it. Let's turn this craziness into a crappie video today. It's been such a struggle so far this morning. So I get a couple of bites and some mudfish. My friend, the mudfish. boat was all clean this morning it, it was me I, I'm the guy it was me my boat was clean this morning and then that guy me decided to bring a mudfish onto his boat now there's just for some reason my whole boat looks dirty I don't know how because he was just right here in the floor but it seems like my entire boat is dirty with mudfish, whatever, grime. Yes, a giant baby crappie. <laughs> for a baby crappie, it's very big. That's the only positive spin. For a baby crappie, it's huge. No, it's awesome, isn't it? Okay, but that's good. I'm getting some bites here. My other spot, I wasn't getting any bites. I was getting worried. So maybe the bite's about to pick up. I'm trying to relocate. I haven't crappie fished in a while. The water temperature is 73. Um, last time I fished here, I'm sure it was well into the 80s. So it has dropped because we had some, you know, the nights have been a little cooler. fall kind of comes on slow down here in South Georgia. <laughs> it takes a little while. All right, man. I knew I had some little bites, you know, like right through this little stretch. So maybe uh, I can find some. Uh -oh. Maybe I can find some crappie. Better one, little better one. Okay, these guys seem to be about 20 feet, which I'm surprised they're that deep. But you know, it's not time to spawn or anything like that. That's for sure. So. What I have done now, it's not a bad little guy. Pretty feller. What I have done now is I've done, tied a double rig. I've got about a 16th ounce jig head and a 16th ounce jig head. I got this one tied up the line, about a foot and a half, two feet, and this one tied down here on the bottom. 
because the bite has not been on fire. So I need all the extra help I can get. But these bites have been way off this bank and I mean, I'm sitting at 20 feet. So they might be, they might be 15 feet. And I'm not really fishing it like totally on the bottom. Just kind of really bringing it back real slow. So, just out here. I've had a couple of bites that I, I, you know, I didn't get. They were super light. Pretty good one. Me. Maybe I can just stay on top of it. It's not like they're schooled up, really. Not at all. That's exciting. Catch one like that. Um out here kind of near the ledge of the channel on brush because i like right then I, I went over a little bit of brush and this whole bank down through here there's trees stumps and stuff like that under the water and that's where that fish bit it and that's where those other fish bit they were all on some kind of brush under the water get out here and there's current and stuff like in these rivers it's not as easy as a lake where you can just get over a brush pile and just sit right over it I got to deal with moving current moving boat all that stuff but that's what makes it fun Trying to figure them out. I started crappie fishing about three or four years, I guess three years ago with Paul. He's a big crappie guy. And I mean, I'm hooked, I love it. Cause I was always a bass fisher before. And this is kind of a good, this is a good uh, way to satisfy your bass fishing without spending a whole bunch of money. Of course, I'm spending a whole bunch of money on jigs because I keep losing them. Got a baby. A baby. Today has been a bad day for that guy. I was going to say. Day has been very inconsistent with color, with size of crappie, everything. Just completely and totally. Don't know what's gonna happen. They, they seem to be like super scattered. I mean, just completely and totally. You have no idea where they're gonna be, but I'm definitely not getting on. Uh, any kind of school yet yet all right let's throw right back where I had 
that bike. The current has started going out now. It was going in when I started. See, no bite there. Alright, it's okay though. Let's try it again. Same spot. May have to switch to a little heavier jig. I think this one's not really able to get down. The current's picking up more and more. fishing is what it's like. A little better one. Okay. Maybe I'm on a little school or something here. Not too bad for today. Okay. Let's see if we can make it happen again. Let's that line real good. Saw my line jump when he hit it. That's what you want. I'm gonna have to hammer it. I'll try this little heavier jig. All right, I switched to the heavier weight. Put on the color I got the last two bites on, and there you go. That is the result. That is the result of the result. Little guy, pretty, beautiful fish. Love these guys. guy right there. It's the one you want. Pretty. Fella. Once again, <laughs> I'm just fishing. Every once in a while I'll catch one. It's not exactly a pattern. But, well, it is a pattern. I mean, I just can't get a color locked in. I can't get a location locked in. Well, I did catch those three right there in that one spot. This is about the fourth different color I've caught fish on today. They're, uh, I mean, they're definitely on wood. Near the, I mean, I've, I've got that locked in. It's just hard to catch them like this. This current, the way it is, like I said, I don't want to use a heavier jig. I don't think that would... I'd end up being hung up so much. I mean, I've probably lost 10, 15 jigs getting hung in the in the trees and brush and stuff. Alright, guys. That's it for me today. That's all I'm going to do. It's going to rain. Or it's supposed to rain. I don't know. It might not. But anyway... I didn't want to stay out too long today anyway. I caught a few fish, not too bad, two nice ones. Uh, considering I hadn't been out here in, I don't know, a month or so. Uh, that's not too bad. And uh, the weather should be cooling off. I got another spot that I need to try to go visit uh, that I can put in that's not too far from here. 
and then maybe I can uh, learn me a few spots up there and then when this water starts cooling off you know what time that's gonna be time to fish <laughs> all right man y'all have a good day